And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding and... Huh. This is interesting. Huh? Oh, then you'd better keep listening, man. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Any more obvious. It's easy to understand. Uh, well, I guess you could say that. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna pass. <laughs> What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, ask. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You want to be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> Uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh, let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who will get the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. I got a cat in my bag. Sucks. Oh, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. Almost feels like it could go last a long time at night. I'm so pissed off! Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! <laughs> Going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. It sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? I'm being phantom thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me. We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. Alright, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to downtown. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? 
I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What? You a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. Weirdo. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. That's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's get to Dome Town. Mr. Akechi's coming on! Oh, it's Akechi! Oh, he's so cool! Is that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this Bantu thief excitement has called your attention to Akechiku. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <laughs> but, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though. I would be embarrassed if it turns out these phantom thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, 
Let's try asking some students the same age as a Ketchikun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechikun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Uh. All right. <laughs> Let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? Well, if we're going hypothetically, they're just in itself. You say that with such firmness. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kejikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? They only target criminals. I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kind of seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. Hmm? I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. Uh. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. I feel like our discussions could prove quite fruitful. Would you mind talking with me again? If the opportunity arises. Thank you. It makes me glad to hear that. The students from Shujan are truly quite interesting. I look forward to seeing you again. Well then. Talk about a problematic guy to get involved with. There's probably a lot we can learn from him though. Hmm. you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. It shall become the wings of rebellion with the birth of the Justice Persona. Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. Just breathe in the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Hmm.
Is it for me? No, no. That's a good idea. are super lame. Remember.
you. this stuff anyways, they'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? Ah. The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. You've gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier about whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of Akechi. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? <clears throat> well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is real irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. We're not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen! Impossible. 
You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. <laughs> That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? What about Ryuji's place? It's way too small. Plus, my folks had never agreed to it. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Huh? Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe is only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. <sighs> It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Piece of shit.